Hi, this is another exciting video from the Northwood School Technology Office. Sorry, I'm a little congested today, so if I'm, you hear my breathing, it's a little rough, and I do apologize. So what we're going to do real quickly is we're going to um, we're going to go ahead and install printers through Windows 10 on your teacher or paraprofessional laptop. I'm doing this because uh, there's a lot of different printers out there and different settings for all kinds of different people, and I wanted to make sure everybody was okay. So let's go ahead and go through this. I have a brand new computer I've just installed for a teacher, and we're going to go ahead and install printers for her. So you can come down here and just type in settings, or you can go here. Uh, let's just try settings. It's easier. There we go. Let's go up to settings. Okay. I'm going to go to devices, printers and scanners. Okay, left side over here. And then there's all the printers. <laughs> Obviously, there's not much there. So let's go ahead and add a printer. And what's going to do is it's going to search for all of the network pr printers that are in the building and hooked up. Some aren't hooked up right now, like a couple of fifth grade. You know, some individual classroom printers aren't hooked up yet because it's summertime, the end of summertime here in 2020. So uh, here they go. They're all coming up now. But the ones we want to install are there. So you could actually, if you find your printer, you don't have to wait for the DOS to go away. You can just go. So let's go ahead and install some of these printers. The first one we're going to install is the one that we have in the teacher's room, the copy machine that I have on the network to print from. That one is this one here, 8585. After I get all these printers installed, we're going to go ahead and change the names. Actually, I might do them case by case, and then I'll show you how to change the name of the printer. So you click it, add the device, and it didn't disappear. It's actually at the top now. There it is. And you'll see it'll say connecting. You might even say can't find it for a few seconds because it's connecting afterwards and installing. So don't worry about that. This does work. I just did this on another computer, so it is working fine. So it'll install. And it does take a minute. I should get some more coffee while it's doing this. And that's my chair squeaking. Do 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 almost done. The newer version, last couple of newer versions of uh, Windows 10 actually make this work much better. Uh, a couple of years ago, or within the last couple of years, we've had problems doing it this way, but it's, it's fine now. So it says ready. You notice it should appear down here. There it is. So let's click on it once, and what you'll see is you'll see some options. I'm going to manage it, and when I manage it, I'm going to go to printer properties. When I do that, I want to change this name. So I'm going to click back. This is the teacher room. You want to put down something standard so that people know where it is. So teacher room. And, then, and back in the old days, Windows would change, would not update profile individual profile setting changes. Um, so basically, if I make this change here and then I log in as somebody else, it won't say teacher room. It'll say 8585 again. But it seems to not be doing that anymore. I noticed that it changes it. So we're going to test that uh, at the end. Teacher room, hit OK. And go ahead and hit the back button up here. Notice it changes. So this teacher room. Okay. And that's it. You just do the next ones. So I'm going to do uh, <clears throat> a couple of stay. I always put the teacher's room on every teacher computer. I like to put the library one, the room uh, 206 uh, color printer upstairs, and the one that we keep down near the music room, that color printer, and that, and that hallway, just so that if they need to go anywhere in the building, they'll have a, an opportunity to print. So let's go ahead and find the next one. This is the office. We're not installing that. Um, now the key, the kicker on this is the different, it doesn't do a good job of telling you which ones are which. That gets a little hairy sometimes. So there we go. There's the, this one is the one down in room 107, right next to the music room and art room. So I'm going to click that and install that one. Again, I'll scroll up. There it is. It's connecting. That should be on. Last I knew that was on. And uh, that in the old wing, I call it. And that'll install that printer. That's a color laser printer as well. And then after that, we'll install the library in 206, and that'll be it. There we go. That installs pretty quick. Much better than the old days. And yes, you have to be a local administrator on that computer. So if you find that it doesn't let you do it, just let me know in the technology office and I'll make sure that you're added to the uh, local admin for that computer if it's your computer. Sometimes that does happen that we move computers around. 
then you might be using a different computer and we might miss that. Okay. So again, you'll see, you should see it coming. There it is right there. Click it, manage, printer properties, and then we're going to rename it. This one is, um, we still actually call this one lab, lab color. And I don't know if it's just, uh, I don't know, but at this point we need to do what it is. So I have a kind of a standard. I put the room number and then what type of printer it is. So this one's in room 107 and it's a color laser. Okay. I'm st I still want to call it lab color, but I'm not going to. We don't have a lot of computer lab anymore. And there it is. 107 color laser. Okay, I'm going to show you this anyway. You're probably saying, okay, Steve, I get it. Why are we still doing this? The reason why is because the, the next two printers we need to install are called the same thing. And you kind of have to know what they are. So the model number is an M452 printer. We have three of them in the building. We have one in the main office. We have one in the library and one upstairs in room 206. I'm going to tell you which one's which. So 699. 699 is the library printer. So I'm going to add, add that device. Whoa, well, what happened? Oh, geez. See, something, I, I clicked too quick or something. No. Uh, well, that's embarrassing. I didn't mean to do that. I don't even know what that one is. Honestly, I don't know. Wow. And the fact that it won't let you not do it. Oh, and that, I think that is actually, um, I want to say, I want to say that's the, a couple of uh, teachers brought in wireless printers. So as you can see, <laughs> security-wise, it's kind of, if I wanted to, I could hijack it and print to it. That's probably not a good idea. Uh, but um, that's how easy this stuff is to do uh, nowadays. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it install. Just bear with me. If it doesn't take more than a minute or two, I'll, uh, if it takes longer than that, I'll edit this out. So if you're, if you're watching it, it doesn't take long. And, um, you know, I'll go ahead and just I'll show you how to delete a printer, I guess. Mm-hmm. Come on. I can't believe I clicked the wrong one. And obviously you could fast forward if you want to. What, this will be the longest printer that we do, right? Okay. Come on. Guess I'll make some coffee. Go coffee time. Just my coffee maker. So that would be another improvement Windows could do to let you get out of that. So Canon MB230, we're going to get rid of that printer. Yep, there it is. Yep. And if you go in here, you can actually just hit remove device, and then it's gone. There we go. So we have the 107 on here, and we have the teacher's room, so we need these other two printers. i got to do this again. Sorry for the... Repetitiveness, but it only takes a few minutes. Now, if you keep clicking refresh on this, you will see one or two printers come and go because some printers are older and they have weaker connections to the wireless. So if you don't see the printer you want, just hit it again and it might find it. I have noticed that especially on the 1606 printers, that some will come and some will go. But eventually it will hopefully come up. All right. So let's find that correct one. There it is. 699. Yeah, 699. I'm going to add that device. Now we have the right printer going. That is the library color. And it don't, see it says status unavailable. Don't worry about it. That model tends to do that when you're installing it. Give it a few seconds and it'll come back fine. Sorry for the noise of the coffee maker. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Mm -hmm. Trust me, it does work. Come on. <laughs> I don't know if it has to reconnect or what it's doing, but 
toner. There we go. Yeah, look at that. That was pretty quick. It even tells you the toner's low. I got to put more toner in it. So again, you'll see it up here in your list. Obviously, we want to rename that so you don't get confused. So we go back here to printer properties and we'll rename it. And this one I like to call a uh, uh, library color. I call it sometimes color laser. It doesn't matter. So there we go. We go back. You'll see it appear there. Yep, there it is. Re kind of reconnects itself. There we go. And the last one we want to add, just for convenience, is the 1 and 206 upstairs, just in case the teacher goes upstairs for any reason. I used to do them only like the only one only the printers I wanted them to have, but then if they move around or if they, you know, if I have to give this computer to somebody else, I don't have to worry about installing the printer. So you're just better off installing it. All right, so this one's different. This one is 1310 is the one upstairs in room 206. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that device. Notice I don't have to wait for it to find all of them. If I find the one I want, it'll it'll connect. There we go. And again, status unavailable, it's okay. There we go. So if we scroll down here, and there it is, 1310, we're going to go ahead and rename it. And we're going to call this one 206 Color Laser. There. Nice and easy. Boom, done. All of our printers... You know, when she gets one in her room, I'll add it. You know, we don't have all those in yet, so, but she could even do it now, so she doesn't need me. So, uh, that's pretty much it. So, I'm going to go ahead and close this video out, and thanks for uh, 